so it's not my best year for sure but hello my foraging family so we're out here first day of October gonna go and check my hen spot I'm gonna see what we can find this one hen spot I have is pretty safe I don't really worry about anyone finding it it's so kind of out of the way I was lucky to stumble across it years and years ago and I've probably pulled 200 pounds a year out of this place so we're gonna go and see about a week ago I didn't see anything else fruiting I have pulled about 30 pounds so far out of the woods here we're gonna check out some hen spots I'm aiming for a four pound order of trumpets that is that would be nice uh, trumpets this time of year are usually big and meaty so we'll see if I can get about four pounds of those babies all right this is the first shrimp of the woods I have found of 2023 just an aborted entoloma that's really cool that's a good looking one. Oh yeah nice and these you just pull them up you see how they're attached to me they end up tasting more like a meat fat so I made a Hen of the Woods stroganoff, but it made it taste like it was an animal fat in there. Shrimp of the Woods. That is the aborted form of the Antiloma. And there's one that's a little bit more gone. You see, as it starts to go, it'll turn pink, almost like a blood red, but like a Dry blood red. <laughs> As you see, it will grow just about anywhere. That's funny. Wow, that is in there. And there's a little baby over here. Probably has a couple more days. sure how that's going to come out of there. Oh my. It's interesting. I have never seen it stuck to a tree like this. Ever, ever. That's pretty crazy. something else yeah it's definitely a little bit older <laughs> that's cool though see how it grew it's almost like a V but it's just a chunk wow that is probably three pounds all by itself it's so dense because it grew in there squished <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, I wasn't really expecting some chanterelles today. Nice. That. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Nice golden chanterelles. Tucked right up against uh, oak. Sweet. Wasn't expecting that. That will work. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That thing is huge and it's still tiny pores. Wow. So one, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, wow, nine, Ten. Wow, that is nuts. That thing is huge. Oh. Oh, God. The hoop. Oh, wow. See, you chased the bugs out. Yep. Awesome. Not bad. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, that's, I don't know, eight pounds. <laughs> that's a big one. It's bigger than my head. You see the pores are still tiny. That's perfect. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Not hand sized. So that one I'll leave. Yeah. Going there, but oh my goodness. Wow, this weather really. It's been cold at nights, 40s. Wow, that's beautiful. You can see the underneath, the pores are really tiny. Oh, oh wow, but then. <laughs> wow. Right, so, if you got some hen trees. Some big old oaks. Go and check them. Oh, this is a lumber. Wow. And you can see because that branch fell on top of it, it kind of bleached that area. And where it got sun, darker. There you go. Wow, that's awesome. see pores are still itty bitty <laughs> nice <laughs> oh my goodness all right so I am honestly loaded down right now and oh, oh my gosh there's one right there there's two three <laughs> my pack is full and I got a bag full oh. so this whole thing is full that's probably 30 pounds and then I have I don't know, maybe five pounds down in there <laughs> oh my gosh well, let's see if it's good <laughs> Look at those tiny little pores. Awesome. Wow. Dink, dunk, dunk. Look at that one. It's going right between the roots. That's really cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, buddy. A little dirtier in some, but only on the base, so that's cool. Nice. 
nice. Sometimes you have to trim a little more than you want to, but me personally, I like to do it right in the field. I don't worry about who sees it. I don't worry about my trimmings. I only worry about having something really clean going into my basket or my bag. I just don't like, I don't clean at home. I pick through at home, but I do not clean. That's awesome. That's a nice one. Oh yeah. Sweet. Nice. Another one starting right there. That's cool. That one's going with me. Alright, so this is the last tree that I have that fruits hands, and it's funny because it is an old oak that is alive, but the fruiting kind of over the past 10 years has kind of gone down and down and down, and I don't, it used to be big, huge hens, oh yeah, nice, but it was like one in each little pocket, one in each little pocket, and there, this tree would fruit 50 pounds at a time, now they're a little smaller. That's pretty though. Oh yeah. Yep. Beautiful. You see tiny little pores. Awesome. Well, I'm not 100% sure what I have in my bag, but it's enough where I had to leave it up on that hill because I didn't want to walk down and then walk it back up. I'll definitely let you know when I get home what the total amount is. I've got bags and bags and baskets. I'm guessing maybe 40 pounds. That'd be really nice because they all are pretty prime. Just the weather's perfect. Cold nights, cool days. We'll see when I get it home. I do got to say... You know your pack is full and the thing is just creaking. And I had to take my sweater off even though it's 60 degrees. Probably got a fifth of my weight right here in the bag. And this thing, listen to it. Yeah. So, definitely got some weight today. Check it out. Well, we'll see when we get home what the actual amount is. I mean, 40 pounds would really be one heck of a day. I think probably pulled about 100 pounds in one day. So this year is not my best hen year. Definitely not my best chicken year. It's not my best king year. It's not my best a lot of things year. But by far, it's the greatest hedgehog year, chantrail year. Um, well. Two performance and Ignicolor. The golden chanterelles. Honestly, I probably get about half what I usually get, but what made up for it was the Ignicolor. That really went nuts. So, we'll see when we get home. I doubt I'm gonna find anything else. And oh, I really don't wanna do any squats. All right, so I have not filled up the back of this Prius. I have filled up the back of a CX-9 that was a little bit bigger. It definitely had a little bit bigger of a hatch. I've said this year. I've only filled up half of this trunk. So it's not my best year for sure. But. I do gotta say. That's still pretty damn good. Alright. Well I got it home. And I got it weighed. And it is right on 40 pounds. That is one stellar harvest, I do have to say. So, I mean, everything's so young. And a lot of those I would have saved 
and let grow just a little bit more, but they were either buggy or in an area that was going to get stomped on, realistically. I mean, right stomped on. But, yeah, that's awesome. Chased the bugs back, and that's what I ended up with. 40 pounds in one day. Stellar. All right, y'all. So, get out there and find them hens. Peace. Happy hunting.